drink and wine, set your saddle up on the height of a wild horse, cowboy, cowboy, king of the range and rodeo, you are bound to get in the door to ride them. There's bronx and bulls aplenty awaiting at the shoot. They're up to find you'll ever find and tougher than a boot. Cowboy, grab your seat and set them tight. Ride and drop with the fays, ride if you ride them. Cowboy, for every bronco buster there is money in the bag if you can ride them. Cowboy, so get your rigging ready and choose yourself an egg. Come on and try to ride. sends out an order, it's an order. Governor or no governor, he's... The governor. The governor. I guess he found out about a stroke. That's right, he wants to pin a medal on you, Roy. I'll try to get back for the main event, Ike. The governor's a boss, let's go. Boy, I wish I could be there to see the governor decorate you. You will be, Mr. Millhouse. I'm to bring you in, too. Jumping June bugs, he's a process servant. The governor of the adjoining state demands that I deal with you to the full measure of my authority. A sheriff in Arkansas claims that you prevented his making a very important arrest. What have you got to say? Well, I'm guilty, sir. I know that. But what you don't know is how he went about getting himself guilty. Now, I'm going to tell you. Now, wait a minute, Frog. We're here to listen to the governor, not make speeches. Oh, I've been listening to governors make speeches all of my life. Now, I got a chance to get a governor to listen to me. I'm listening, Mr. Millhouse. Well, sir, me and Roy, we was ambling along. It's a dozing in the sun. Calling all state highway police. What'd, What'd you, you say? Be on the lookout for black sedan. Escape car used by bandits in this morning's bank robbery at Leeds. Patrol all highways leading to borders. Positive identification. It's Duke Wilson again. Bring him in, boys. That is all. Who tied you boys up, Tex? Them bank bandits. I kicked the radio dial on, hoping somebody would come by. There's three of them. They got our horses. Yeah, I headed up trail no more than five minutes ago. They're shortcutting to the border, Frog. Come on.
break our necks. Look at that grade. I can feel my wings sprout. Then spread them wide, because here we go. We're in Arkansas now, boys. We're safe. Come on, let's get a beer. Three beers and the keys to that car outside. You won't need them. Why, it's Rogers, the rodeo star. Yeah, you paid a visit to us once, didn't you? You haven't got a badge, have you, cowboy? No, if I did have, I couldn't step across this state line. Get their guns, Frog. All right, get going. Wait a minute. Come on, Frog. Over the rodeo, aren't you? Where do you get your authority? I don't have any, but I'm taking them in anyway. They want it in my state, too. Do you realize you're preventing me from making an arrest? I'll see that they're arrested, all right. What happened? Where am I? Deep in the heart of Texas. Yeah, I get out of this state, will you? Uh, my hat! Never mind your hat. Come on. I lost a perfectly good hat, but it was sure worth it. Suppose you wait outside, Mr. Milhouse. We turned them fellers over with the police. What's wrong with that? Frog, the governor. Governor, I had a score to settle with Duke Wilson. He held up and robbed our rodeo a while back. Rogers, I like the way you work. I like your nerve. Now, I can use a fast-thinking man like you. In fact, I need you for an assignment. Well, thanks a lot, Governor, but I'm working with the rodeo. That's why I sent for you. The fellows I'm after wouldn't take you for anything but a cowboy. So far, they've been able to spot all my operatives. You mean you want me to follow someone? Yes. There's a wave of sabotage sweeping through this territory with the precision of a well-organized gang. All my efforts to apprehend them have failed. I've covered the wire services and the mails, but they're too smart for me. There must be some way to pick up their trail. Do you want to try it? If you need someone, I'd like to take a chance at it. Good. Sit down. Fine. Now, it'll mean serving your connection with the rodeo. You'll have to figure out some excuse. Oh, I think I can do that all right. Now, here's the number of my private phone. Learn it and destroy the paper. I'm to report to you at this number? And to no one but me. You're to work entirely on your own. I've got the number, sir. Well, your predecessor was shot while reporting over that phone. So you see what you're up against. Did he have any clues? Yes, I think so. He managed to say... Following Mary. There is no more. Following Mary? Sounds like nice work. Well, young fellow, you've got it. Thank you, sir. You can't miss me. I'll be riding a white horse. Roy Rogers is the star. This is for the evening show. Well, thank you. That's very generous, sir. How'd you get along, boy? He sure told me off plenty. Oh, Mr. Rogers, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I think the governor was secretly very pleased with your feat of daring. <laughs> I'm afraid your hunch is wrong, Mr. Uh... Oh, Crayley. Really, I'm the governor's private secretary. Oh, I know his mood so well. I think if you tell me exactly what he said, I could do. Uh, he said that he was capable of enforcing the law and that I should stick to my trick writing. And, mister, I'm going to do just that. Come on, Frog. Now listen, you guys. Why, I've cooked biscuits all my life. Oh, 
get the biscuit blue. I've cooked for the devil and the devil's wife. Oh, get the biscuit blue. Now I've cooked for old Paul Bunyan's crew. When a ranch or a flour, I just used blue, but they're all dead now, so I'll cook them for you. Oh, get the biscuit blue. Now I can make biscuits of every kind. Oh, get the biscuit blue. And make them out of any old thing I find. Oh, get the biscuit blue. Now there's biscuit pudding and biscuit stew and great big biscuits and little ones too. And biscuits you can't even chew. Oh, get the biscuit blue. Biscuits for breakfast and biscuits for dinner and biscuits for supper too. And a biscuit treat most every night. Oh, we got the biscuit blue. Well, we're gonna have biscuits every day. Oh, we got the biscuit blue. I'll cook them ahead and stack them away. Oh, we got the biscuit blue. There'll be biscuits here and biscuits there and biscuits crawling through your hair. There'll be biscuits, biscuits everywhere. Oh, we got the biscuit blue. When I go to the oven to see if they're done. Oh, Get the biscuit blue. Why, I open up the door, then I pull my gun. Oh, get the biscuit blue. Then I fan three shots with a crack, crack, crack at the biscuits. Smile, the slugs bounce back. They're done to a turn. What a tasty snack. Oh, get the biscuit blue. Biscuits for breakfast and biscuits for dinner. And biscuits for supper, too. And a biscuit drink most every night. Oh, get the biscuit blue. Well, how about a nice big juicy steak? Oh, mmm. With mushroom gravy and a devil's food cake. Oh, mm. all the trimmings, just food galore. Oh, oh, oh. A glass of wine, maybe three or four. Right. <laughs> well, you're gonna get biscuits instead. Why, Why sure. sure. Now take it easy, boys. Look out now. You you know how you are when you get like this. You yeah, look out. Oh, oh, help! 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 Hey, hey, wait a minute, fellas. There's Roy. Hey, Roy. Roy. Hey, what goes on here? Oh, he's been cramming biscuits down our throat for the last week and a half. Well, I won't be getting any more of them. What do you mean, Roy? I'm quitting the rodeo, boys. What's quitting the rodeo? You're a yeah, what? Hold What's on. on to you? The show is just beginning to get moving. This rodeo business isn't for me, boys. I'm turning myself out to pasture. Well, you're our star attraction. Why the sudden change of heart? I can't explain now, Pat, but I've just got to move on. Maybe we can get together again sometime. Yeah, we'll come around and see you someday. You can't go, Frog. I haven't any job, no money. Well, two can starve as cheap as one, can't they? You gotta take me. Well, all right, if you insist. Oh, I wish I was going. I'm kind of envious. Yeah, it's gonna be a great life. Basking in the sun, carefree and restful, no worry, and no work. Oh, well, so long, boys. See you later. Well, so long. Here he is now. You watch that door. Hello, Mr. Crayley. Hello. Anything wrong? No, our mode of operation has been very successful. Yeah, the tent shows a perfect blind. What's next? There's to be no let up. We keep striking fast. But is that wise? I'll make the decisions, Mason. Buxton, Maurice will relay orders to you upon receipt of code messages from me. Now, the new keyword is triplets. Triplets? Mm. Okay. Another thing. I was given a pass to the rodeo today, and I've just come from there. Now, the odd thing about it is this. After a private conference with the governor, Roy Rogers, the star performer, left the show without notice, and he's disappeared. You think the governor's hired another investigator, huh? Well, I may be overly suspicious. But I don't think that other cowboy would have given me the pass had he known before Rogers saw the governor that they weren't going to appear. Now, Roy Rogers, remember that name. If you come across him, watch him. All right, good luck. I'm an old cow hen from the Rio Grande. And I learned to ride, or I learned to stand. I'm a riding fool who is up to date. I know every trail in the Lone Star State. I ride the range in a Ford V8. Yippee I O Kaye, Yippee I O Kaye, I'm an old cow hen from the Rio Grande, and I come to town just to hear the band. I know all the songs that the cowboys know about the big Wait a minute, let's listen. I learned them all on the radio. Yippee I O Kaye, Yippee I O Kaye, I'm an old cow hen. From the Rio Grande, where the West is wild, round the borderland. 
Where the buffalo roam around the zoo And the Indians make you a rug or two And the old forest is a barbecue Yippee-yi-yo-ki-yay Yippee-yi-yo-ki-yay Well, the food's as good as the forest show, it's all right. I take a look in the cafe. If anybody's there, you sing some more, eh? Sure, Joe. I don't have a thing else to do. You ain't done anything for a month. A frog, I've been busy all morning talking to people and hanging around here and there. Well, hang out around some dishes, will you? Business is taking a boom. Two customers, all ladies, ordering 35 cents lunch, starting with soup each. I cook up something special. Here, boy, you take in the soup. Here, boy, you take in the soup. Oh, he's a good singer, but is he a good waiter? Yeah, he waits while I work. Yeah, eh, eh, eh. Take off the hat. With a 35 cents lunch, I don't charge in politenesses. I'll ring you when I'm cooked. All right. See? Coffee? Yes, please. You bet. Was that you singing? Mm-hmm. You're sort of handy with those cowboy songs. Any sugar? Sure. Hey, what's that back of your ear? Bend over. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. She used to be a sleight of hand performer. In my vaudeville days, I reformed. Now I'm with a tent show. Actresses? Both of you? Yes, we're with the tent and carnival show. My stepfather's always looking for new talent. I'd be glad to introduce you to him if you're interested. Are you planned here? Well, we did last night. At least we gave most of the performance. Yeah, a warehouse flew right in the middle of my best number. Uh, slide the salt away, will you? Mm -hmm. Oops, bad luck. Over your shoulder, Judy. There's jinx enough following Mary. Following Mary? The Merrymakers. Merrymakers Carnival. That's us. Uh-oh. That's for us. Another meal I missed. Here you are, bud. Keep the change. Where do you play next? Tomorrow night in Rawhide. That is if something doesn't happen. Every town we play has an explosion or a fire. I may see you there. I'm leaving for Rawhide. Well, don't you work here? No. In fact, I'm looking for a job. Well, my offer still goes. Look me up. I'll speak to Dave about you. Come on, we're shoving off. Well, I've only got 15 cents. Well, that's all it is. Well, but I wanted to give you a tip. Well, the other lady gave me a very good tip. Thanks. Uh, don't forget, it's the Merrymakers Carnival. Well, after meeting you, I'd kind of like to get into show business. Well, maybe I've made a discovery. Maybe we both have. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, I got it fixed up with Joe. He's gonna hire us, Teddy. Well, he's hired the wrong boys, because we're leaving. Where's my hat? You girls, go on to Rawhide. Maurice and I are gonna make a side trip. That brother of yours books the show between side trips. You must admit he's always trying. the last part of the barbed wire. You can't miss. You're the best in your line, Buxton. You've got to be good in this game. You two aren't doing so bad, according to the newspapers. What's the next assignment to be? You'll get the name of the town through the usual sources. Maybe we'd better not strike again too soon. I, I'm getting worried. Worried? They're getting chicken. It's Judy. I'd like to send her back to Chicago. She isn't any part of this. Judy stays with the show. You run the show the way I tell you, and you'll end up a rich man. Let's get moving. Send word to the boss, and we'll be ready when word comes through. Good luck.
gentlemen, Maurice, the mental marvel, is here to help you with your problems. As I pass among you, address your questions confidentially to the mystic stone. You, madam, what is troubling you? My husband. Softly to the mystic stone. Maurice will get your vibration. Well, my husband, George Smedley, is... Your husband, George Smedley, is not growing tired of you. You still retain his deep devotion. I've been telling you that, Sophie. <laughs> hey, lady. I got an important dilemma. My Nellie's not been eating, and she looks puny. Do hey, you reckon she's coming down with a ailment? Miss Nellie's not eating, is she ailing? Sir, my vibrations tell me that you're the cause of the young lady's decline. Why didn't you buy a seat for her and bring her along? She wouldn't fit in no seat. Nellie's my horse. I'm glad. You're holding up the act. You better ask a question. Oh. Will the mental marvel tell me how to get into show business? Tom Yoko wants to get into show business. Young man, I only answer important questions. Well, mine's important. My whole future depends on it. Young man, you're disrupting my act. Hey, what's the idea? Come on, I'll say it. Well, now, wait a minute. I only asked the question he's supposed to answer. He paid to get in here. He's got a right to ask a question. You too, bud. Come on. Don't Why don't the mental Come marvel on. answer? Mental marvel, he's a fake. Sure, he's a fake. The cowboy paid his money. Give him a chance. Oh, don't think he's a phony. He's a fake. Ladies and gentlemen, please, one moment. I beg of you. Oh. Sure do. He's broke. Okay, cowboy, I'll keep my word. What's the matter with giving him a chance to sing right now? That's the idea. Give him a chance. He'll be better than that metal marvel. All right, Uncle. Maurice, the metal marvel, will be only too glad to relinquish his part on the bill to this ambitious young man. You asked for it. He's all yours. You mind if I use your guitar? What's your name? Roy Rogers, but don't go away. I'm huh? kind of scared. Presenting in his first appearance, Roy Rogers, the singing cowboy. A gay ranchero, a caballero, can always find someone to pair. A senorita, a sweet papita, her other loves will soon forget. If he's insistent and she's not distant, a senorita will confess. Her gay ranchero, her caballero, need only ask and she'll say yes. Soon there'll be a fiesta with a blushing bride and the gay ranchero standing by her side. If they find a promise that they have in store, they'll be counting little chicos by the score back on the rancho. We now find Pancho with his papita by his side. She thinks he's handsome, worth any ransom. To him she's still a blushing bride. Our gay ranchero, our caballero, still tells the world of how they met. His gay ranchero, his caballero, says he has nothing to regret. Now to end the story that I once was told, here's a little secret that I must unfold. For they found the promise that they had in store, now they're really counting sequels by the score. What'll it be, cowboy? Fifty bucks or a week's engagement? A week's engagement, mister. Rogers is a government man. You certainly made it easy for him to hook onto us. I'll get rid of him. I'll make him take the 50 bucks and get out. No. If he's an investigator and we let him go, it'll arouse suspicion. Besides, Crayley said to watch him if he showed up. Shall I let him work the week out? And if he steps out of line, we'll take care of him. 
catching up with a musical show. If you wanted to be an actor, why didn't you stay with the rodeo? I've got to hunt the Merrymaker show will offer more opportunity for one in my line. I'd have never believed it. You and Ogler. Hanging around stage doors. Ogler. I'm waiting for Miss Judy. Hello. You still here? I wanted to thank you for getting me into your show. Oh, if Dave hadn't let you on, there would have been a riot. On my first appearance as an amateur, a riot started after I did my act. <laughs> this is my friend, Mr. Milhouse. Howdy. Hello. Don't tell me you want to be an actor. No, ma'am. I promised Mama I'd lead an upright life. <laughs> I'd like to take you ladies to uh, supper. I thought you were broke. I am. Frog's the moneyed man. Well, good night, ladies. I'm glad to met up with you. Frog. He'd be happy to escort Miss Ruby, and I was sort of hoping that Miss Judy would... Uh... Mr. Milhouse, I'd be delighted to have a snack with you. Well, I'll be delighted if it's a light snack. Quite an attraction with the show. It'd be too bad if you got mussed up. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? I guess you made good, Roy. Them fellas was real nice to you. Yeah, a little too nice. Frog, you've got to get into that wagon. Take a good look and tell me what you see. You sound like you've got a reason for knowing. I have. Come on, you fellas. I want to get out of here. Bring that big plank over here. Put it on top of this plank over here. Come on, bring it and hurry up. Come on, get out. Come on, if you hurry it up, we'll get out. All right, slide it under there. That's it. Get that on there. That's fine. dynamite and fuses to explode half the state. That's it. That's what? Frog, do you know what sabotage is? I do now. That's why you left the rodeo. You've been on the trail of them sabotagers. Them fellers Maurice and Dave is it. You've taken on quite an order for yourself though, ain't you? Looks that way. Maybe you need some help. I reckon the governor didn't know you and me was partners, huh? I guess he didn't. I think I'd better remind him. I guessed you was working for him. Well, Frog, I didn't figure you were so brainy. All my looking dumbs fooled a lot of people. You know, sometimes I wonder how you keep doing it. Fooling people? Oh, looking so dumb. Well, I... <laughs> Governor, we factory owners have gone all out for defense. But we're being stymied at every turn. Yes, as traffic manager of the Interstate Railroads, I want you to know that I am cooperating 100%. We all are. Time and again, before we can ship our materials, our factories... I know, gentlemen. I assure you that every possible measure is being taken. Yes? Governor, I think I picked up the right train. A group of show people who call themselves the Merrymakers. Good. You couldn't have phoned at a more opportune moment. Several interested gentlemen will be relieved here that the wheels are really turning. Yes. Stay with it. Gentlemen, that's what I was waiting to hear. A private investigation of my own is just beginning to bear fruit. That's most encouraging, Governor. Will you tell us something about it? Only this. My operative feels sure that he's on the right track at last.
down towards showtime. We better not stay too long. Dave will be worried about me. You're mighty important. That mind reading act depends on you. It depends on the magic ring I wear. It's a midget microphone connected to Dave's loudspeaker. And he relays a question to Maurice. It sure had me fooled. Oh, it's all a snare and a delusion, but you'll catch on if you stay in show business. Afraid there isn't much chance. My week's nearly over. I sure hate to see you folks go on without me. You really want to stay with the carnival? I sure do, as long as you're there. Seems I keep right on discovering your talent. You make pretty speeches, too. Saying them's easy. Making you believe them's a trick. Oh, I like the yokels that fall for the mind-reading act. There's no trick in believing in what you want to. If I stay on with the show, I'll prove it to you. I've been hoping you'd want to stay. Well, now I'll have to use my influence with Dave. Jody, is this interest in Roger strictly professional, or, or is it a sudden romance? Well, it did happen suddenly. I walked into a lunch room, ordered a 35-cent luncheon, and met him. Well, for 35 cents, you can't complain. Dave. Yes? Please keep him with the show. I'll think it over. Thanks. Well, that's Roy's number. I don't want to miss it. got a regular telephone set connecting the contacts in the aisle. She puts her foot on it when the suckers talk into the ring microphone. Wait a minute, I ain't done yet. This metal marvel here's got some headphones in his bonnet. Ain't that disillusioning? All right, all right. Should I marry Elmer? Should she marry Elmer? I am the unhappy father of triplets. Here it is. Unhappy father of triplets. Just a minute. Cut the act short. We've got to get the show over fast. Jimtown tonight. Do you think it was Rogers reporting? I don't know. Where does he know? I'll see. No, I'll check on him. You get the stuff ready for the Jimtown job. Sid, not me. I have some sleeping We've to do. We've got an early call. The show went great tonight. The one night stands are killing me. Took three encores of my acrobatic number. You wanted to be an actress, didn't you? Yeah, but how did I know it was so hard on the feet? Uh, I thought maybe. Roy, may I speak to you? Just a minute, Judy. Would you mind? Do you want me to do straight for you? Yeah, straight on out. Oh, I get it. Oh, haven't you got your makeup off yet? No, but don't wait for me. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Well, there's a little lunch counter around the corner. Suppose we say good night over a sandwich. Oh, I can't. Frog's waiting for me. Well, something important? Well, we've got to bed down our horses. Well, this is the first time I've ever been brushed off for a horse.
Looking for something, Rogers? Yeah, Judy's coat. She and Ruby are going for a drive with me. She forgot to give me the key to her trunk. That's a woman for you. They've gone to the hotel, haven't they? Yeah, I have to pick them up there. Come along to the hotel? No, I've got to see the baggage and scenery loaded. Okay, good night. Good night. We've got to get to the hotel quickly. I've got some checking to do. So, Dave, the girls have gone to bed. They don't have a date with Rogers. You mean he was pulling with that gym town job all set? I don't intend to speculate. Don't worry, he'll be through at the end of the week. He'll be through tonight. Say, you get around fast. Crew's loading in the morning. You leaving early? Yeah, the girls have gone to bed already. Obviously, Judy didn't intend to go riding with you. Send me up, huh? Too bad. Nice night for a ride. Maurice and I are taking a trip to Jimtown. Why not come along? Jimtown? Yeah, we got business there. Well, I don't like to interfere. You won't. But I don't want to crowd you that way. I never let anybody crowd me. Come on, get in. when he knows that we mean business. There's no such word as maybe in our work. All right, only... Uh, only what? Just because we suspect that he's on to us isn't any reason for... Suspicion's it. enough. You'll remember that, too. You don't suspect me of anything, do you? I suspect you of getting a case of nerves. Nervous people are dangerous. Let's go.
mean he didn't come to town? Disappeared complete. Nonsense, Frog. I'm at my wit's end with worry. Don't worry, he'll be along around showtime. That'll be 50 cents. Oh. It ain't like Roy to just lose himself. He's got him around. You'll find him. I'm sorry, mister. I can't change this. Have you got 50 cents saved, please? Oh, yeah. Here. I'll call him the whole town. If he's in it, I'll find him. Boys, it's a bigger job than I bargained for. I'm going to need every one of you. We're ready. We're itching to help you. This is like old time. When we got Frog's message, we put the rodeo on ice. You can reopen it when you get back. If we get back. What's the matter with you? You want to live forever? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, did I do good. But well, well, we'll 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 I caught him red-handed sending a telegram. Let me see it. Well, this is blank. Well, there was writing on that when I got it. Wait a minute. The impression of that writing is still on here. What are you going to do now? Burn me some cork. S. A. Triplet. Post office box 64. Freeman. Triplet. I'm the unhappy father of triplets. You are? Oh, no, Frog. It's their key word. Roger. Is that you, Governor? Really, I've told you never to take a call on my private phone. Oh, but I didn't, sir. It, it rang, and I took off the receiver unthinkingly, but I haven't spoken it. Yes? Let me have that name again. S.A. Triplett, Post Office Box 64, Freeman. The wire will arrive there sometime today, and the man who calls for it will be the one directing operation. It's too late to get there before it closes, but I'll leave for Freeman tonight and be on hand when the post office opens. Good work. Keep in touch with me. Order my car for 8 o'clock tonight. <coughs> that done it. The governor is just as good as captured Triplet. Now we can all go back home. Oh, no, Frog. This message says send further bookings to Travers Town. There'll be a plant in that audience tonight. Tell them in code where to strike next. I've got to get that message somehow. Oh, you can't let Dave and Marie see you all in one piece. You're blew up. Boys, we've got to get in that show tent before Maurice and Dave get there. It's all clear. Roy, you're dead. As long as you stay dead, you ain't gonna get killed. Come on, let's go. Hey, Joe. You got the drops all hung? Everything's set, Dave. Where's the rest of the crew? When they got the wagons unloaded, they went out to grab a cup of coffee. Guess I'll get one. Go ahead. Come on, let's set the controls in Judy's dressing room. Where to? We'll put them in one of the freight wagons and lock it up. What's eating you, Ed? Oh, I got a date to take Mamie out dancing, and what happens? I'll tell you what happens. I got to drive the governor over to Freeman. Freeman? What for? Oh, search me. out his car at 8 o'clock tonight. They're making a trip to the post office at Freeman. The governor's not to get there, is that clear? Any special way you want him stopped? Yes. Yeah. One that'll bring his interference to an abrupt and definite finish. I'll get the boys on it right away. All right.
a signal. you boys to help out, but it's no use. They've paid to see Marisa Mental Marvel. We'll have to give them their money back. Sell our house, too. Judy, make the announcement. Wait a minute, Judy. What's the matter with me being an understudy for days? You explain the mind reading act. I can work it. Oh, Rory, that's a swell idea. Will you boys do another number? Oh, shucks, miss. We ain't no actors. We ought to get back to the ranch. We only did this for Roy. Oh, go on, boys. Help the ladies out. Red River's out, boy. Not me, I refuse. Wild horses can't make me roar. I'll get I feel a vibration. Will you ask a question, young lady? <laughs> Go on, Eddie. Spoken in the ribs, Herschel. Her escort, Herschel, is poking her in the ribs. Herschel! Ah! Don't do that. I ain't doing nothing. My vibrations tell me you took a poke at that gal. Now, you quit it. I'm going to come down here and smack you. You? Why, I'll come up and knock your block off. You and who else? Get back in that chair. I won't. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> Hold it, folks. I'm going back to vibrating. Got a gun? Come on. Yeah. I have a question. I'm going to adopt an orphan. My wife wants a girl. I prefer a boy. He wants to adopt an orphan. His wife wants a girl. He prefers a boy. Why don't you folks stop quibbling and take twins? <laughs> I'm well off financially. Maybe I'll adopt triplets. Triplets? The word triplets. It's a message. Keep talking. Say anything. I've got to get the code book. Triplets. That reminds me of a song. 
A song my ma used to sing to me and my brothers. We was triplets, too. Three blind mice. <laughs> Get your hands away from that trunk out of the air. Get him up. You're hard to lose, Rogers. You're not so easy to get yourself, Maurice. The government man before you who tried it found that out. Let's get out of here. Not until I finish this cowboy. No, you can't do that. They'll find him. We'll be held for murder. Wait a minute. I'm through with this. I'm getting out of here. Nobody walks out on this job. I'm giving myself up. I'll talk and take what's coming to me. you did not kill Dave Mason. And you won't say anything to substantiate that. I have nothing else to say. The answer to this is clear. Roger's week with the show ended last night. Dave let him go. That burned him up. He waylaid us on the stage today, tied us up and locked us in a wagon. When we finally managed to get free and get into the dressing room, he shot Dave and I slugged him. Do you believe that, Judy? Oh, how can I believe anything else? Everything you've said to me. Everything I've said to you about you has been the truth. All I know now is that you killed Dave. Look, kid, I've been trooping a lot longer than you have. I've met a lot of phonies. I know a right guy when I see him. Lock him up. Mr. Cluckus, I want to put in a long-distance call. I can't let you out to use the telephone. Well, will you call it? It's my lawyer. Governor's condition critical. What? Let me see that. Looks like he's a goner. Too bad. What's that number you want me to call? Never mind. Calaboose, ain't it? Oh! Termites! Are you the jailer? That's right. Well, uh, may we see Rory Rogers, please? This is his grandpa. Oh, well, go right on in. Ain't you going in too, miss? No, I couldn't bear it. It's too tragic. Poor dear soul, seeing his grandson through bars. Oh, I know just how you feel, ma'am. I had a try and ordeal looking through bars at my grandpa once. Were you in jail? No, grandpa was. Can't you get any help out of the capital? Nobody but the governor knows I'm on this job, Drogue. I'm sort of out on a limb. Well, me and the boys are staying undercover. We don't want them holding us for no questioning. Ruby helped me make up like an old man, but she's ready to help us. Judy's got to know the truth about Dave. You and Ruby take her to the dressing room, show her that trick compartment in her trunk, get the code book and get it back here as fast as you can. Roy was telling the truth. That's the code book, ain't it? When I joined the show, Maurice gave me this trunk as a present. Yeah, a nice guy. Fixing it for you to take the rap if the code book was found. They caught Roy trying to get it. Maurice killed Dave because he got chicken-hearted. Roy was groggy from getting bopped on the head, but he hurt him. Well, why hasn't Roy told the authorities and had Maurice arrested? He's only one. So we've got to get the head man, too. And we've got to help him. You've got to, Judy. There ain't nobody else to help now that the governor... Judy. Oh, Judy! Yeah. 
Judy, what are you doing here this time of day? I, I came to pack my things. She's going to quit on account of Dave. You can't walk out or we'll close the show. I don't care what happens to the show. Now, you listen to me. This troop has got to continue. Oh, Judy, you're a trooper. You wouldn't desert your fellow actors. I'm not thinking of myself, but I disappointed the audience last night, and tonight the mind reading act must go on. Why, I'm, I'm the feature attraction. Look, Judy, without you, Maurice is helpless. Do you really need me so badly? You're as necessary to my act as I am. Anybody can run those controls. Sure, even me. Sure, even Ruby. I'd be happy to. All right, I'll stand by. Oh, Judy, you're a real trooper. How are we going to get Roy out of that jail? That mousetrap? It's a cinch. Have you got everything? You sure you won't fumble? Don't worry. I did the goldfish trick for years. Never spilled a drop. Well, Miss Smith. Hello, Mr. Cluckus. Hey, Rogers. There's the lady from your show, and it ain't Grandpa she's got with her this time. Hello, Judy. Here's the code book. You understand? Yes, hurry, please. And it's way past supper time, and Ella sees red when I'm late. Couldn't we stay here and mind the jail while you go to supper? <laughs> That's a hot one. Here's all the mind in this jail needs. Why, Augustus the Great would laugh at those. Who's Augustus the Great? He's our world's finest magician. That was his assistant for years. I know all of his tricks. No fooling. Can you do tricks? Can I do tricks? Get a load of this. Here it is. Arrangements completed with Buxton for supply train job. We'll be in the audience tonight to give instructions myself for your next move. I'm going to get you out. Frog and the boys are ready with the horses. Keep your eye on Ruby. Well, by cracky, that's first rate bamboozling. <laughs> that's nothing. Here's one that'll slay you. Nothing on either side. No cup to deceive you, and I place the handkerchief over your head. What happens then? You'll be surprised. A chicken. Huh? A chicken? Well, what do you know? I've been took in complete. To put it mildly. I, I can't leave you like this. Uh-oh. I was afraid of this. I knew she'd break down. Come on, help me get into the car. There, there, ma'am. Don't carry on. It won't help, huh? Now, now, take it easy, Judy. You've got a show to give. Hey, chicky. Chicky, chicky, chicky. Nice little chicky. Yeah. I hate to do this, but I'll explain later. This switch closes the circuit to the headset. Now turn it this way when you transmit to me. Everything clear now? I got it. Now remember, I'm depending on you for speed and accuracy. You'll get it. to make his entrance. Keep your eyes on him, Frog. Come on. Be sure and repeat every message. Yeah, yeah. Shh. Judy's making the announcement. As I pass among you, address your questions confidentially to the Mystic Stone. She wants to know what's become of her husband. Well, that's the fifth question and no message has come through. Can't be in the audience. Keep your shirt on. The act isn't over yet. I have a question, miss. Where would I find someone to care for my three little children, triplets? Triplets? That Jim Roy. Triplets? We've got him. Oh, oh I have the switch on. Well, the gentleman who asked that question leave immediately. Triplets, get out, quick! All right, stay exactly where you are. 
what would die or do, Ranger. There's courage in the beat of your faithful Mustang team. 